Okay, getting ready for a photo shoot. Um, and I'm gonna do my own makeup because I usually do. <laughs> um, and uh, we had a little friend come to visit me this morning, so that's fun. So I just, um, you guys liked the last one I did, um, but you wanted me to be more specific with um, the products that I use. So I'm gonna do that. Um, let me just make sure my lights, oh, yep, they're all the way up. Um, so I'm gonna be more specific with some of the products that I put um, on my face. So <sighs> laziness was real this morning. So I just used um, my Burt's Bees wipes. I like the cucumber ones. They're really nice um, and just cleans the face for me. Um, and then I put on, um, I'm really, I like the stuff Beauty Bio. Um, it's a nice little quench for the face. So I use Beauty Bio and then today I used some Beauty counter um just a little let's see which one eye this is it's the ultra renewal eye cream so that's what's making this look super nice and shiny right now so i put that on um i use a bunch of different products though for my face from um, hello body to skin farm actually i'm gonna put this some this is amazing the hello body cocoa rich uh really good for chap lips in the winter time um, but I use that, I use Burt's Bees stuff, I use Skin Farm, I use, I use Limelight, I use a bunch of stuff. Um, but right now it's about makeup. So I've primed the skin, um, like I did in my last video, I usually do my eyes first and because it's a photo shoot, I'm gonna go a little bit higher intensity of shadow. So it's probably all gonna fall because I'm not great at this, but it's okay. Okay, so um, I'm gonna start, let's see what palette I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna start with the Tarte. Um, Tartlet and Bloom. This is the Tarte palette and the color is Tartlet and Bloom. And then I'm going to start with Rebel, which is this color right here for my base. And these are just, I'm going to use this one. I think I just got these at Sephora. So I'm going to use the Rebel and I'm going to put it on my base. Okay, and then, like I said, I am a finger blender, so I'm gonna blend it with my fingers just to really get a nice, soft blend. And then I'm gonna use the same brush, get a little excess stuff off, and I'm gonna go a little lighter. So I'm gonna go to my Beauty Counter palette. Um, this palette is the classic eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna hit the ivory, and I'm just gonna go on the top up here just to give a little bit of highlights for the top eye. And then I'm going to switch to a little darker because I am doing a photo shoot. Usually if I was doing my 10 minute look, this would probably be all that I do. Um, but since it's photo shoot time, I'm gonna bump it up with some colors. So I'm gonna go to the cinnamon on the beauty counter and I'm gonna put those in my crease. And I'm going to use this little guy. It's a little angled cinnamon. Just to give it a little dimension. And a little darker of a shade in my crease. And of course, I'm gonna use my fingers. So I'm gonna go like that to crease it up a little bit. Okay, like I said, because it's a photo shoot time, I'm gonna go even darker. So I'm gonna hit my Tarte palette and I'm going to use the Smoke Show right up here. Just in the creases though. I'm just putting the black right there just to add a little bit of dimension. So just in the crease. Same thing on this side, because what you do to one side, you should do to the other. I guess uh, just in the crease right there. Okay. 
so that is nicely blended in. Boom, blended in. Okay, again, not to like super go over myself a bunch, but photo shoot. Um, I'm gonna go darker. So I'm not much of an eyeliner girl, but I like eyeshadow. So I use this little guy, this little fine brush right here. And um, I put Smoke Show for my Tarte palette. And I just line my line. line my I usually pull a little bit just to make it nice and even. And this way it's like you're getting the makeup look but not without the heavy eyeliner, which again, I like using eyeliner if it's like I'm going for a more dramatic look, but I think this is just a softer way of doing eyeliner without that. Because I feel like eyeliner, pen, or eyeliner, the liquid ones can be so fine and this is just a little bit more softer and a little bit more blended look. So the eyelash um, mascara that I use is Lancome. This is what it looks like. I love this mascara more than anything. And I usually just put it on the tips of, since I have got lashes. And then usually um, I just use a little brush to even them out a little bit. Now it's time for my foundation. All right, so I use Giorgio Armani. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation. I am obsessed with this foundation. I love it so, so, so much. This is what I use for photo shoots um, to get more of a um, really soft, dewy look. Other foundations that are comparable, um, I like the Burt's Bees Foundation. I think that's really good. It's very natural. Um, Too Faced has a really good uh, foundation out too. So I'm just gonna put this all over, use a little beauty sponge, whatever these things are called. Put, and I'm gonna put a little bit more on than I usually do because I gotta take photos. Cover up that lovely zit. And it's also important too to get some on your neck too, so you don't want your face to look different color than your neck. Okay, so my foundation is all on. Time for concealer. So for concealers, I use um, a few different products. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Camouflage, and I really like this one a lot. Um, I usually start with this more peachy color for underneath the eyes, and I just go right there in the crease and just dab. You wanna be careful not to put too much on your under eyes because then it could look a little cakey, but just to get some of those dark circles away. And then I'm gonna use this color and I'm gonna contour the middle of my nose. Just down the bridge. And then I've got a nice little zip right there. Then I'm just gonna underneath your nose. Got some broken capillaries. So I usually dab underneath there. So now my contouring is all set. And because um, mom life is real, I have a little bit of Bobbi Brown. And this is the corrector. It's peach. Just to get some of those deeper, darker uh, little circles because whoa day mom life okay now on to powders this is my absolute favorite product of all time for uh powders it's the translucent laura mercier uh, do, do, do. it's the uh translucent loose setting powder i'm obsessed with this stuff i think it just sets it's so good there's the powder right there Use the big little brush, get some in here, and dab it. Okay. 
that is set. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is bronzing. So I'm gonna get this kind of looking brush, Bobbi Brown. This is my go-to and this is my go-to for the bronzers. Hey, um, so this is the natural bronzer and then also Bobbi Brown. I also use Glow too. That's another one that I really like a lot. Um, Glow has a really nice shimmer to it. This Bobbi Brown's a little bit more matte. So I'm gonna contour it underneath of my cheeks. Up here. Go along this line like that. Your neck is super important to get. Here. Here. And then kind of along the remnants of that. And just to give it a little bit more of a pop, I'm gonna go over it with this one. Okay, now I'm gonna use the same, this one, Bobbi Brown. And I'm going to contour my nose with this little angled brush. Right. Voila. Okay, and then I'm going to do some blush. I'm gonna use the MAC blush. This is uh, Style Frost. It's kind of got a little bit of a peachy tone to it, but I just think it's really pretty. Right there in your cheeks. Get a little smile. Perk those up. And then I usually go boop, boop. All right, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting. I'm not really great at highlighting, but I'm learning. Um, so this is the highlighter that I use, um, Hyper Real Glow. This is also by MAC. And I usually do this more bronzier one by my cheeks, on the top of my cheekbones. And then I usually use this one, like on the top of my lip. Just a little bit right there, just to get that lip going. And that's about it. And then after that, I am going to use um, this little guy to put some shadow underneath my eye. So again, I'm not really big on liner, but I think shadow looks really, really pretty. So there we go on that. And then before we get rid of the palettes, I like to just do a really um, soft kind of highlight in between your eyes. So you can either use your uh, glow palette or um, I'm gonna go back to my beauty counter and I'm gonna use the Sahara right here. And I'm just gonna put it right in the crease of my eyes just to give a little pop. I don't know if you can see that or not, but a little pop. Okay, that now I'm going to do my pencil, eyebrow pencil. Um, this is the Burt's Bees eyebrow pencil, which I'm really just using them down to. Burt's Bees eyebrow pencil. Brush them out. And fill them in. I'm going to take out my mascara, which is already out, and just do my bottom lashes. And then to finish off the lips, eyebrow pencil by MAC. This is the Spice. It's gonna line the lips. And then going to top it off, and this was one of the biggest requests to know what this is. This is the Sarah Hap um, little gloss that I put on, the Lip Slip. It's one Lux Balm. 
So I put this on at the very end. And now I am photo shoot makeup ready. Now it's time to do the hair. Comment below, I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you guys wanna see next and any other products you guys want me to try. Um, and I'll do another one for you guys. Talk to you soon.